Here we are once again, everyone. Cannabis News. I'm here with Joe Claire. It's September 26th, 2019. The show is presented, as always, by the Marijuana Times. Find us at marijuanatimes.org. Today we're talking about big things going on in South Dakota also. The governor of Pennsylvania coming out in favor of legalizing adult-use marijuana and how some Republicans got on board with the marijuana banking bill that passed, passed the House of Representatives yesterday. We're going to get to all of that, of course, but first, Cannabis News is brought to you by NatureSide, nature-side.com, and their organic, all-natural pesticides. Grow safe and poison-free. Don't use harmful chemicals on what you're growing. Be regulatory compliant. All these good things can happen with NatureSide. Nature-side.com, awesome sponsor of Cannabis News. Thank you, Nature Side. This first story by Julia Granowitz at MarijuanaTimes.org. South Dakota activists can start collecting petition signatures to legalize cannabis. Last month, a medical marijuana legalization petition was approved, and since then, New Approach South Dakota has been working hard to collect the needed signatures before their deadline. Now, a second group, South Dakotans for Better Marijuana Laws, has had their initiative approved for signature gathering as well. Their goal is legalizing cannabis for adult use rather than focusing on medical marijuana only. Uh, the person who filed the initiative was Brendan Johnson, a former U.S. attorney who is now working with the activist group to draft an amendment that doesn't leave much out. So we are excited to move forward with this ballot, with these ballot initiative campaigns. He told Marijuana Moment, South Dakota voters are ready to approve both medical marijuana and legalization at the ballot next year. The South Dakotans for Better Marijuana Laws initiative would allow adults 21 and older to possess and distribute a two ounce of cannabis and give adults the right to cultivate up to three plants in their home. Also suggest a 15% excise tax, which would fund the program's implementation. So, South Dakota, there you go. Your time is now. What is this crap that Penn Live has given me? They're all up in my business about blocking ads all of a sudden. You could have told me when I first brought the story up, and then I would have known, and I would have fixed the problem, instead of having to fix the problem mid-show. These aggressions will not stand. Anyway, without further ado, the story is from PennLive.com. Governor Tom Wolf calls for legalizing recreational marijuana in Pennsylvania. Uh, Governor Tom Wolf and Lieutenant John Fetterman have combined their voices in calling for Pennsylvania to fully legalize marijuana, uh, recreational marijuana. Well, it says it's marijuana, but fully, you know, adult use, recreational, whatever. At a Capitol News conference on Wednesday, Wolf moved beyond his previously stated position of wanting to study the experience of the 11 other states, as well as the District of Columbia that have passed marijuana legalization laws for the first time. Wolf said he thinks it's time for his state to join them. Several legislators, quote, agree with many Pennsylvanians with making adult use regulated marijuana use legal. That includes me, Wolf said. I agree. Fetterman, who has been a proponent of marijuana legalization, declared, quote, if you're opposed to the recreational adult use of cannabis, that is a minority view now in Pennsylvania. Of course, Fetterman went on the big tour of all the different counties in Pennsylvania. Apparently, the feedback in regards to legalization was good. So good that now the governor, uh, Tom Wolf, is on board. He said this is the potential to affect tens of thousands of Pennsylvanians, many of whom have had their lives shattered by a conviction on an action that most most Pennsylvanians do not believe is a crime. (laughs) Together, we can get more Pennsylvanians. He used that word a lot. Back to work, working across the aisle in this building. So there you go. Mary, uh, Pennsylvania is on their way to recreational marijuana legalization. Got some big guns in support at the very least. This last story is from Politico.com. How Republicans learn to love a pot bill. Yes, that's right. The marijuana banking bill yesterday. Um, 91 Republicans joined 229 Democrats to pass the legislation. Yesterday would finally give marijuana businesses access to banks, a critical tool that the industry needs to grow. The vote came after the cannabis banking bill's lead sponsors had spent months trying to draw GOP support, walking a tightrope to avoid casting the legislation as a weed legalization bill. The hope was that their backing would boost momentum in the Republican-led Senate. Um, 
Republican turnout for the bill is a stark evidence that the politics around cannabis is rapidly shifting. The genie is out of the bottle, said Representative Steve Stivers, a Republican from Ohio, who led efforts to build the bill's Republican coalition, even as he remained opposed to legalizing recreational marijuana. The bill passed 321 to 103, of course, needed 290 votes because of the suspension of the rules. So the, at least most of those Republicans were needed. Obviously, a lot of them are still against rec- recreational legalization. But hopefully, when more comprehensive marijuana law reform comes up to the House floor, hopefully, again, sometime in the near future, they will need 290 votes. They only need 218 votes to pass it like they do most legislation. And if the votes are there, then we'll see what happens. But for now, this is a victory, and it was a victory uh, accomplished with Republican support. Uh, a lot of uh, the Republicans in the con- uh, the House said that the fact that there's hope for the bill in the Senate kind of gave them impetus to vote for the bill. It wasn't just dead in the water. It wasn't just an exercise of futility to vote on something to pass something that was going to go die in the Senate. There was rumblings in the Senate that it will be looked at, at the very least, passed. That's, you know, a long way down the road, but um, the uh, Senator Mike Crapo, Republican from Idaho, is now chairman of the Senate Banking Committee. Um, he recently told Politico he has been convinced to take up the bill in his committee, an announcement that House members believe helped move the needle further with Republicans in their chamber. So there you go. Onwards and upwards, as they say. I don't know who says that. I think that was from a movie. I'm pretty sure. In any case, we'll continue to cover all of this here at Cannabis News. We're here five days a week, of course, at MarijuanaTimes.org. Click the video tab at MarijuanaTimes.org to find the show. You can also search us out on YouTube and Vimeo for the videos and for the audio podcast, Apple Podcasts. Thank you to NatureSide, Nature-Side.com, and their organic all-natural pesticides. Go check them out. Keep spreading the truth about cannabis with the show by sharing the videos, liking them, commenting on them, all of that stuff, share on your various social media platforms and whatnots and all that. I know, this is the, my slang. My slang game today is on point, on fleek, if you will. Anyway, I'm going to stop now Why I'm uh, theoretically ahead, at least in my own mind. Thanks, everybody, for watching and listening today, and we'll see you next time right here on Cannabis News. Cannabis News.